again, it's Loch Noob, and uh, well, I've seen people like um, Pick Beard and uh, Pete Restall, who both have uh, great um, lock sport channels, um, with this Monterey uh, top security padlock, and be rude not to have a bash at it myself. Um, one thing I <laughs> like about this uh, lock is um, that it's 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 got a shrouded or shielded chattel and uh, that's something I, I actually like I think it just adds a nice aesthetic to a lock um, the one thing I like about this particular lock other than that um, is that it's got some sort of hand-drawn um, reasons why it's a wise choice to um, to have bought this Monterey security lock and there's a couple of uh, warnings uh, in general um, little warning bells that go off in my head whenever I see sort of hand-drawn cartoons on the back of something and um, and uh, things that say things like you know top security lock uh, whenever you see top security written on something uh, it rarely ever is is it um, but there you go that, that's what it is so let's um, let's take this out and see what we get um, so it, by the way this is about 15 pounds and um, actually for a um, you know, a closed or shielded or shrouded shackle padlock, 15 pounds uh, isn't so bad. And it looks like it's got a Euro cylinder. Now, first of all, pop over to Pete Restle's YouTube site and, and look at him. Um, there's two videos he's done uh, about gutting and replacing this uh, Euro cylinder. I don't really want to spoil it other than to say this isn't really a replaceable Euro cylinder. So don't buy this padlock after looking at this video if you're wanting a specific um rekeyable padlock uh so you can i know key it to your front door for example so you only have to carry one key um this isn't the lock for you unless you want to put some work in so pete restall go to his youtube channel and have a look at um him picking this lock so it just comes with a standard key it's a uh, uh, just like a one two three four five pinner um let's have a look at the how it works, let's open it up. Okay, so um, a couple of things there. Um, it's a really nice, smooth operation, and it's got a ball bearing mechanism. Um, it tells you that's on the back, actually, but um, it's always good to see it, uh, which, you know, will give it some um, good security against shimming, um, as will the, you know, the shrouded shackle against um, a sawing attacks. Uh, and it's got a hardened steel shackle, or at least it says hardened on it, and it says it's hardened on the, the in back there as well so overall it's, you know it's quite a nice padlock really um and like i said that um, i think that if this was truly removable 15 pounds would be a bargain otherwise it's about average for a uh a shrouded shackle padlock it's nothing special um but it's, it's all right but can we pick it that's the key uh let's have a look there i'm going to let me just tilt my camera up and you can see what i'm going to look at there you go, and let's have a look at what we can pick it with. I'm going to go in with a, let's try Sparrows, short hook, let's go. Get on the pins with that, and then I'm going to use bottom of the keyway, because it's always good to do if you can, and I can use, um, I believe that uh, Foxy over at Red Cat Imaging likes this uh, particular tension wrench from the Dangerfield Serenity kit, so um, if that fits in. Seems to do alright. Um, then let's tension it. Right, you're going to tip the camera back down now. So, um, by the way, I've got a new adjustable sort of camera stand, so it allows me to, to do that. And I think that's about right. You've got some nice lighting in there, and uh, let's have a go. Let's see what we can do. Um, okay, I think I want a pin. What a five. Four doesn't really want to go. Uh, three. Two, two, no, and one, a little, little bit of one on one. Okay, give it a little wiggle. Let's see where else we are. So, five, four, three, three, two, doesn't want to go. No, and one again, let's get on one. Let's click off one. Let's go back to the back. Something seems to be um, sticking there. I don't know what. I don't think anything's overset. 
Maybe it's three. Lighten the tension a little bit. No, I don't think so. No, two. Anything on two? No, one. Five, four, three, two. One again. Peeking against the warding, but another open. Okay. Um, I don't know the time on that, um, but that, that isn't particularly high security. I didn't have any counter rotation, um, so that to me means all standard pins. Um, so top security, really, probably not. I don't think this is um, hardened steel. It's um, from the from the look of it, I think you can tell it's sort of satin painted finish. I don't know what metal is. It's probably steel of some kind. Uh, it's, it's quite weighty, so I'd imagine it is. Um, but this isn't a top security lock. So, Monterey, um, you disappointed me. Probably, for a, for a hobbyist, um, you know, having a challenge of repinning this core um, is is probably something which uh, will give you some pleasure. Other than that, I, I, it's hard to recommend it as a lock for any real purpose uh, at all. Nevertheless, I'm going to send this on to... Um, another picker now to um, have a bash at and see uh, what they can do with it and have some fun with. Okay, I hope you found that interesting. I shall uh, see you next time and would encourage you to look at Pickbeard and Pete Wrestle's uh, videos on this lock too. Okay, see you next time.